Hello, Maria. Hi, big brother. Welcome to your diary session. Thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. A bit nervous, but I'm okay. You were told to get to know your fellow housemates. Yeah. Tell Big Brother a piece of information you've learned about any of your fellow housemates. Mm. Two of my housemates have children, like grown up children, a seven year old and a five year old. And how has that impacted your views of those housemates? They're very hard working. I see them as hard workers and um, they're strong. Like being a mother is a strong and it's a part of the task. So, um, yeah. Maria, you were chosen by Big Brother as the wild card. Yes, I was. How well do you think you've played the wild card game? I don't know actually how well we're playing it, but like, it's killing me, I'm not going to lie. Like, obviously I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever take it back and thank God for the opportunity because it's like a 50 50 chance. But like, it's killing me. Like, they're really lovely people. And I'm not just saying this, like, they really are. So it's like just lying and lying. I, I think I'm doing a great job. I'm actually proud of myself because I'm not a good liar naturally. But, um, and I don't think they suspect me whatsoever. So, but it's killing me. I'm, I'm not proud of it. I'm lying because I feel like obviously there might be great friendships that might be formed from here. But I'm constantly lying, so I don't feel good about that. That's why I'm nervous, because obviously the weekend's approaching, and yeah. And I think they're going to fail. And yeah, I don't know how I'm going to feel about the next step. I definitely know they're going to fail. But Big Brother, he didn't tell me that there was another wild card. <laughs> Apparently there was two of us. And how did you feel when it was announced? I was shocked. And I thought, do they know me? And Penny, I thought, well, if I don't know them, they don't know me. I actually think I have proof of the second person is. A penny for your thoughts, Maria. to discuss anything else with Big Brother? Um, um, not now. Actually, yes, I do. Um, if they do get, if they, if they figure me out, which I very much doubt, um, this is it, right? Also, wait, do they pop? Does the public know? <laughs> oh, yes, they do. Okay. Okay. No, I don't have anything else to say. has come to an end. Thank you. You may take a moment to gather yourself okay. before you leave the diary room. I'm okay, I'll be fine, I've got this.
Instructed to get to know your fellow housemates. Yeah. Tell Big Brother at least one piece of information you've learned about any of your fellow housemates. Um, I'd say Boma. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Boma is also an actor. He's an actor like me. chosen by Big Brother to be the wild card. Yeah. How well do you think you've played the wild card game? <sighs> I think um, I'm playing it to the best of my ability. Conversations that have to do with the wild card because I know that definitely those conversations will come up and it's only natural for you know every housemate to be concerned about who the wild card is or who the wild cards are. So if you're concerned, you're going to want to try to get involved. In those type of conversations, have those conversations, talk about them openly, throw suggestions here and there, um, throw analogies or certain things that you think as a housemate or the housemate should look at. Knowing who you are, I am the wild card. I, um, I also have in the back of my mind that I want to gain information on what they are thinking when it comes to me. How many people actually suspect me or have me on their list or even think about the fact that, okay, maybe he is the wild card. I have those type of conversations. And also, I try to be very, I'll say manipulative with, you know, the information that I share with them so far, I don't know. But then I, I really can't tell what they, cause, and I read body language too, you know, when I'm out there talking, like, whether in the lounge or in the garden, I try to be very, I try to pay attention to the two, to what other groups of people are talking, my ears are everywhere. You know, reading the language of people, with the body language of people and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I mean, they come here to you, so you tell me, do you think they're playing that game properly, or do you think the things they should be doing more? Harry. Yes, big brother. Prior to Sunday, yeah. you were not aware there would be a second wild card. How did 
did you feel when that announcement was made? I felt good. No, I'm not the only one. But that's that also. And then it was a mixture of two feelings. And I felt like shit. Okay, I need to get to work to find who that wild card is. But then, now I don't know if I find, if I, if we eventually find where that wild card is, what now happens to this other wild card if no one's able to find this other wild card. But I'll still get involved, you know, that was my feeling at the time, I'll still get involved and the whole thing is to be stealth. As a wild card, you, you need to be stealth. You know, in operation, in relating with housemates and all that stuff. So, it was a combination of feelings, but I'll say I'm definitely involved. And who do you think the person is? <laughs> you mean I should tell you my suggestion? Oh, sorry, the, a couple, can I drop a couple of names? I had about two. Go ahead. Maria. That's one. And... Nini. That's the other. Would you like to discuss anything else with Big Brother? Yes. I would want to know. When I was chosen by you, um, and a couple of my housemates have come here, you probably have been seeing everything going around the house. You probably have heard conversations about, including my conversations as well, regarding the subject of this wild card, and also conversations of other housemates regarding the subject of this wild card. What are my chances of being found? Currently. has come to an end. Okay. You may leave the diary room. Thank you, big brother. 